off and running. Uh, good morning, this is Hank at Purdue University. This is the Maymaster Entrepreneurship class. All of the five teams in here use Magmito to make a app and this is feedback for the founders and people that are slaving away in Sweden uh, making the app. We will talk to the team members who used it where they can tell you about uh, the good points and the bad points from their uh, viewpoint. So first up is Nathan. You're on, Nathan. I thought the Magneto makes it very easy to make an app. It makes the publishing process seamless and uh, have no complaints. I think it's very intuitive and user friendly. All right, and your major is? Material Science Engineering. Okay, all right, second. Uh, I like the app a lot, but there's one thing I'd like to see changed, which is uh, giving flexibility to uh, the first page. I mean, in the first page, you can only put your header and the points. Uh, I'd much rather have it like the other sub-pages, where you can do anything you want. So the landing page, you would change. Mm -hmm. I happen to agree with you. I had yeah. the same problem. That's, uh, that's me. Yeah. By the way, uh, you made your development on a Blackberry. Blackberry. Yeah. So we had iPhones, Blackberries, and anyone have an Android? We had an Android. All right, third team is uh, Steve. Uh, the other team members acquiesced to Steve. Steve, your major is? Uh, visual Communication Design. All right. Actually, my only suggestion was pretty much the same as Ibrahim's. Uh, I thought it was a little too structured, and it would have been nice if you could move things around the page a little bit and uh, get a little more creative with it. So it's almost like <clears throat> what Wix allows you to do is just drag and drop and rotate and do anything anywhere, which is actually leading to a flash-based uh, app for a phone rather than a fixed structure. All right, team uh, four. Um, I'm an industrial major, and um, like uh, others said, uh, I had a problem with the front homepage. Um, sometimes the menu got in the way of the logo, and I couldn't change it. And also uh, the text box. Um, I wish there was like a text box whenever um, we went to the next page and we wanted to type something. It always started from the left corner. And if I want, if there was a text box, and if I wanted, wanted just in one corner, that would be pretty useful. And uh, the preview section for me was a little mess, messed up because whenever I opened this, the thing on my Android, uh, it wasn't the same format even though there's a preview section. It was completely different, the alignment, so that took a while to figure out. Other than that, it was pretty easy to use. Okay. And what Android phone did you use? Uh, Galaxy. Galaxy, okay. And also the Droid X. I tried it on both, but the aligning was off on both. Okay, so that's a Samsung Galaxy and... Droid X, Motorola Droid X. Droid, okay. And Ron, your major is? I'm a computer information technology major. Uh, I thought the good part of Magneto was it's very intuitive and easy to use. Um, bad parts was, for some reason, maybe this was just me, I couldn't seem to change the font um, of the bullet points on the front page. I was trying to find a way to do that. Um, I couldn't. And for some odd reason, uh, the app is not showing up on my phone at all. I have an iPhone 3GS. You have an iPhone? iPhone 3GS. 3GS. Yeah, for some reason, to this day, I haven't been able to get the app to show up. So it may okay. be just my phone. I don't know if it's Magneto or what, but all right. that's it. All right, so the guys that are behind that, you've seen what the class has to say. I'd like to add one thing uh, that I've tried to uh, tell Angelo about. Uh, I have a tablet here. None of the devices that are listed for installation uh, of the app uh, list anything involving 8 or 10 inch uh, tablets so that all the apps are showing as an iPhone size uh, when in fact you ought to take advantage of the real estate that's available uh, on a tablet. So that's it. It's uh, June 10th, uh, 2011, West Lafayette, Indiana, Purdue Entrepreneurship class, last day of class. They all just want to beat feet. So guess what? We're out of here. <laughs>